is, so I'm doing this video as a request for, um, I think it was Unicorn God who requested this. I'm sorry if I messed up the screen name, I didn't go check it right before doing this, but if I remember right, I think that was the screen name that requested this. But, the second I saw it in my inbox, I was like, yes, that's genius. So, they commented on my review of the Chapstick Pink Lemonade and asked if I could do a comparison between this and the Blistex Raspberry Lemonade Blast. And the second I saw it, I was like, yes, that's what it reminds me of. And actually, even more so than this one, the Soft Lips Pink Lemonade. I think that was the one where I was like, this smells so familiar from somewhere, but I couldn't place where this, this guy is what smells like it. So anyway, not turning this into a three-wheel end, just between these two. But yeah, so jumping right into it. I think these two are very, very similar products. Um, they're not identical. They are definitely not identical. They've got some differences in them, and I do have a preference of one above the other, but, um, but yeah, I actually, the second it was pointed out to me, I was like, that would make a lot of sense to compare these, because they are pretty dang similar. But yeah, so format-wise, they're obviously both sticks. The packaging's quite different. I mean, one's in a maroon metallic tube, the other's in a white tube, and the colors of the wrappers are obviously pretty dang different. Uh, they obviously both have lemons because of lemonade, but other than that, that's where the similarities end pretty much. Uh, but yeah, so, oops, dropped one. They're both synthetics, neither one is organic. Um, this is limited edition, this is not. This one you can find always at pretty much anywhere that sells lip products. You can find it in grocery stores, and that's actually where I got this. But, um, yeah, so the amount of product, I believe one of these has more than the other, if I remember right. Or actually, no! No, I take that back. They have the same amount in them. They both have 0.15 ounces. It just threw me because this one's a little bit shorter than the other one. But this one's a little bit bigger around. But wait, that doesn't make sense. This should be bigger around to make this. I don't know. I don't even know, guys. It seems like this one should hold more because the product ends here on this one and ends here on this one. So, just saying. Um, but yeah. So, shelf life. This one has no expiration date. This one does, but this one has SPF and this one doesn't, so that's why the expiration date. It's not so much the product as it's the SPF that goes bad. So th there is that to take into account, that this has SPF 15 and this has no SPF. So just throwing it out there. Um, but yeah, price point wise, they're very much on par with one another. They cost about the same. Um, scent wise, this is where... They differ, but they're pretty similar. I mean, you can tell that there is lemon in there, and you can tell that it's the pink lemonade scent. It's a very sweet pink lemonade scent, but it's a very light scent. Whereas this guy, this guy comes in loud and proud, and you can definitely smell both the raspberry and the lemonade halves prominently and distinctly from one another, and I think it's perfectly executed in this guy. So, but that's just my own personal preference. There are days when I would definitely reach for this one over this one, like on my weird extra sen sensitive days, I would definitely go for this over this, but that's just me. Most people don't have that problem, so. But yeah, so they both go on clear. I mean, this one has cutesy pink wax in it to go along with the pink lemonade motif, whereas this one is just natural, but they both go on clear. But the consistency. This is the other big difference. While they both initially feel about the same when they go on, this one feels waxy once it's been on for a minute or so, and you start realizing, oh, huh, okay, I mean, it's not terrible, it's not the waxiest chapstick, chaps, <laughs> bad, 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 I can talk, chapstick I've ever owned or used, there's definitely much worse ones, like, oh, I don't know, the key lime one, but, um, yeah, this one's not terrible, but it, it's definitely noticeable. Whereas this one, it never hits that point. It has the same initial feel as the chapstick, but it, that's just how it feels straight across the board. It stays that moisturizing, just very rich, creamy consistency with no waxy stickiness left behind. It's wonderful. But the difference, the trade-off, is that this one, hours and hours down the line, is still on, and this one kind of wears off. So... 
Ah, which one's better? I don't know. I would say that they both have their strengths and their weaknesses. And that is basically a point of personal preference. For me personally, I would go with this one if I could only pick one. But that's just me. I know a lot of people who definitely go for this guy over this one. So, like I said, they're so similar that I would really just call it a personal judgment call. So, anyway, that is all I have to say on this one. So, as usual, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Leave comments down below. And until next time, bye!